Hi, my name is Jeff for Makula Pictures. Today's video is about the getting ready or preparation session in the morning. It's so important for you to be able to get those amazing pictures in the morning. Uh, many times it gives the pace for the day. Uh, the day has very many moving pieces that if not planned out well, there's a lot that can be missed. From the bridal makeup, the hair, the gown, the dressing, the photographer wanting to take those shots, you know. Uh, time management is everything. It's something that you should uh, put effort into as you plan your wedding, uh, the morning session. Here are a few tips that can help you make the best out of it, out of the morning and help you get better pictures. Uh, number one, uh, choose space that has enough light. Well, natural light is preferred. Get those hotel rooms. It would be nice to get a corner, a corner hotel room that has a, a beautiful spread beautiful windows you know so you can have enough natural light coming in the morning pictures are quite <laughs> beautiful if they are not strobed uh, if you know what I mean like if I'm not using our lights um, so if you if you're in a position to get a room that has a bit of light because one the makeup artist needs light the hair person needs light uh, if the room is quite small and you have the makeup person's light and the video person's light, then the hair person's light, you'll get tired, you'll be overwhelmed, there's a lot going on, yeah? So I, I advise that you get a room that is spacious, because also, uh, looking at space, uh, it, 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 it helps us in creating the images. I've had brides from rooms that were quite small and uh, the walls were not really plain, painted, uh, had funny art pieces on the walls, and the pictures didn't, I felt the pictures wouldn't come out well, so I asked the bride to go out and take at least the bridal pictures in, in uh, outside. If, if, if that is something that you, if you're looking at good pictures, kindly talk to your photographer. The photographer then would know where to shoot from, because if you went to a room and the, yeah, there's some beautiful rooms that we go to and beautiful on the eyes, but then <laughs> in the camera it will be funny. Find that the roof is, say, painted pink or blue and the walls are, and there's not a lot you can do there. It will kill the mood, yeah, mood in the pictures. The space that you get ready in is big on how your pictures will turn out. Huh? Make sure you're choosing clean backgrounds. If there are things in the room making the room cluttered and uh, have, have the bridal party help, the suitcases, the hair pieces, the telephone, the alarm clocks, the things that you packed when you're checking in, ask uh, the bridal team to help you take them out such that the photographer can have pictures in a neat room. Sometimes uh, you spend the night there and, and, and the bed is not made, you know. Ask the bridal team to make it clean, you know, such that when the photographer is taking pictures, that doesn't show. Sometimes it's the video and all that. So you want to have the bridal team collect all those things and put them in one, you know, put them in the, in the, in the, in the bathroom. Just make the room tidy enough. Ask your photographer where they think that they want the pictures taken uh, when you're wearing the dress. Let, uh, let them have a say because it matters how the pictures will come out. Um, as a photographer, I style my shoots to make them as clean as possible. But this can't happen without the effort of the bridal team. I can't be there holding people's <laughs> things without permission. So it would be nice if you ask your bridal party to help the photographer clear all those things. Choose your music wisely. If you're feeling a little a little anxious, have have calm music. If you need energy, have those songs that the bride will give the bride uh, energy. Music has a way of, of, of setting the mood in the morning. So make sure you, you, you have music that will hype you up if you need to be hyped up. If, if you need to be calm, you know, have music playing in the background. As people, as all these things are happening, it would be nice to have a bit of music, you know, uh, not so high, unless you want energy, then do that. But if you just want, you know, the moods to be there, have music, ask the bride. If you're the, if, if, if you're the, the matron can ask the bride what music works for them and then have that. There's a way it, it sets the tone in the morning. Yeah, I've seen that it helps a lot. Uh, that's one thing you should consider. Oh, <laughs> this one is one. Make sure you bring in some food and beverages because the day is going to be long and the day's events might not be managed by you. You want to have something in your stomach. Uh, <laughs> you want to carry something for the bridal team to snack on, really, in the course of the day, even in the morning, yeah, in the course of the day. 
it's, it's kind of hard to get hungry people to smile, have food arranged and go to the room. Then people can have something. Then if you can, um, in the course of the day, people can, be, can snack on something. I, I tweeted this sometime and uh, I got a lot of responses, people agreeing to it. Because you see, the wedding, people wake up quite early to do hair and makeup and uh, by, by 10, sometimes people are eating and you see in the morning you're not eating they don't eat a lot <laughs> i don't know about the guys but the brides really first of all they're minding their makeup they don't want money they, are, they want their dresses to fit so they're not really eating like they should eat because usually uh, at the receptions dinner is served at about seven six so if someone doesn't eat enough by by about two where which time is when we take the pictures the bridal pictures the, sorry the photo session People are not giving you smiles and it's it's because they are hungry really the photographer keeps telling them smile but people cannot so uh do it for the photographer like have something for the team yeah so they can have such that you keep the people's mood and energy high instead of the other way thank you designate the most responsible person of your bridal party who, to be mindful of the, of the time one can one that can keep everyone else in order and uh, wants your, has your back in regards to pictures. It is very easy to, to not manage time. We've seen that. We've seen that happen many times. We think we have time. Let's say your church is at midday. Yeah? In your mind, you'll be thinking you have a lot of time. And a lot is happening. People on their phones, the makeup person is taking their time. Usually it is about at about 10 that people realize they actually don't have time and then now they have to rush and a Photographer sometimes if you have a bigger bridal party everyone can has an opinion and all those things. It's It's a trick The photographer being the one to tell people to keep time But if it is someone within within the team someone they respect it could be a maid of honor or one of the person who is quite responsible who will make sure that uh, by eight, everyone is dressed, you know? If your makeup is done, go and dress up, you know? Such that by the time they do, do the uh, robe pictures, everyone is dressed up. Not one is still on their phone, the other is talking to the boyfriend. Like, a lot happens in the morning. But if you have someone quite organized and quite responsible and has your, because you see, if, if they have your best interest at heart, they know that you have to finish dressing up early so you get pictures yeah uh so you want that you want someone like that get someone like that uh then make them responsible for the bridal team yeah someone they respect trust your photographer on this have much more time than you think you need add a bit of extra time in the time that you think you need uh such as when you're late that that extra time can come in ha handy it's actually uh fine when you early very early dress up and just be there it is okay let's say church is at uh, is at is at midday yeah plan for nine it doesn't it doesn't hurt anyone if you're done by 8 30 and you're waiting use that time for taking pictures let the bride maybe rest a bit when you're planning plan, plan having having an extra time if in your on your timeline you have guys have to be ready by eight how about you make it seven you know such that in the event that there is something that has failed to work or time has been funny, you can catch up on that. Yeah, uh, I think that is quite important. You know, have better ropes for your team. For the pictures, look at the visuals. Be intentional about getting robes for your t for your team, and then make time so pictures are taken in there. It's uh, many many people are doing it. It's something you should do. Uh, the pictures will be beautiful, you'll love them. Oh, that is it for this video. I cannot wait for another video where I'll come and uh, share a few tips from the things I've learned over the years and things that I think should be done right. If you have tips that you think I've left out, please share them in the comments. Someone can read and be helped on their wedding. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, Bad Manners, you actually need to subscribe. It is, it is good manners to like to want good things for yourself. It's also good manners to want good things for other people. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next time.